Well, good morning from Kingston. It's a fine spring morning in mid-April and behind me, installation of uh, the next two girders is uh, about to take place. The, uh, the whole project is coming together and uh, we'll go and have a look. Since the last report on Good Friday, there's been a lot of activity and it's becoming increasingly clear that our bridge is really taking shape. It has undoubtedly helped that spring has indeed sprung. All signs of ice and snow are gone and birdsong has replaced the sound of chattering teeth. The detailed planning and efficient management of the complex project continue to impress. Deliveries of concrete girders on the west bank and massive steel components on the eastern shore are perfectly paced. The positions they will fill are invariably ready to receive them. The concrete girders continue to arrive regularly. They have a 350 km journey from Utopia near Barry. The trip takes them south down Highway 400 to the 401 and then on to Kingston. It must be a relief to see the site ahead after nearly four hours and to drive in and park the massive rigs. Recently, the available space was tested by the arrival of three girders in one day. All three were later installed on a single day to complete seven five-piece sections. That takes them all the way out to Pier 7 on the bridge of 17 before the steel arch. As we close this period, girders 36 and 37 have been laid between Piers 7 and 8. In the case of the steel sections fabricated by Walters Group in Hamilton, the journey is almost equally long. The drivers and their escorts must be pleased when they take the off-ramp from the 401 and turn on to Highway 15. But the most challenging turn is ahead as they turn off Highway 15 onto Gore Road and run downhill onto the site. The most recent arrivals have faced a further challenge. Conditions on site made it imperative that they reverse down Gore Road into the parking area. Once there, they are prepared for installation, which includes rigging safety lines and the posts that support them. Turning back to the area of Gore Road that meets Highway 15, it is itself a work site. The issue is movement of utilities to accommodate what will be a wider junction. The first step was for workers from hybrid construction to conduct excavations. Then it was the turn of hydro staff to lay cable and prepare for the installation of new power poles. This was done right at the end of this reporting period. The work demanded closely coordinated teamwork between individuals in a lift and those on the ground monitoring and assisting in the placement of the new pole. Above the waters of the Cataraqui River, the iron workers from Walters Group continue to impress. They are quickly and skillfully forging ahead with the assembly of steel structures forming the main bridge arch. This underarched feature will span the navigation channel on the river. Initial positioning of all the steel sections is reliant on a highly skilled crane operator who hoists the sections into place for iron workers of Local 765 to secure. You should know that the precise fit of each section is no accident. Before leaving the factory in Hamilton, every section is dry fitted to its mate to confirm its match. Around the structure itself, Iron workers move deliberately, constantly mindful of safety. Once major steel pieces are placed, there is additional work to be done securing them. Braces and other ancillary pieces are introduced. Beside them, the second bridge pier, the westernmost of the two, is in the late stages of work to prepare it for service. There's also work being done to prepare the temporary frames that will support the arch until it is complete. These temporary frames play a vital role in holding up the bridge until its structure is complete and it derives strength from its final form. On shore nearby, work continues to ready the roadway that will lead off the bridge to meet Highway 15. The base for the east abutment is already laid. Framing, like that in evidence on the west end, will be built around it to allow concrete to be poured. On the west end, the steady stream of girders continues to move the backbone of the bridge forward, whatever the weather. This week brought welcome rain to the region, but that doesn't affect the project. 
The drivers from DeCast continue to impress with on-time deliveries. Seven girders have already been placed in April. From five girders wide, there were seven sections in place when this update was prepared. And the first and second girders of another group are already in place. By the way, each group of five girders numbers them one to five, from south to north, or right to left as viewed from the west shore. To each side of the causeway, at the eastern end, the concrete slabs have been delivered that will be placed on top of the existing girders, filling the horizontal gaps between them. Ahead of the girders, out along the line of the bridge, work continues to remove fill that contributed to the placement of piles and has served its purpose. It has to go before the girders are in place because there will be insufficient space for plant to operate once they are laid. It's impressive to stand back from the site and take in the work that has already been completed. A lot of concrete is still required to finish the piers closest to the middle of the river, but the seven complete sections of girders already in place reach almost a third of the way. The steel structures that are now standing make a major contribution too. This fly-along gives a good feel for the scale of the enterprise. Note the safety lines along the length of each girder. The maintenance of safety is a constant preoccupation on site. After all, the watchwords written on most safety vests are nobody gets hurt. Although several companies are cooperating closely in the construction process, there is absolute unity of purpose in maintaining common, high safety standards. Okay, that's it for this update. Um, be sure and look back on the 28th of April. And if you want to be certain of catching every update, uh, like below, subscribe, and click notification to, to receive one when, when, they, uh, when they're produced. And don't forget, in the description below, you can find helpful links to uh, many of the companies and some of the other information on the project. Bye for now.